What's up everybody, it is United Gamer 101 here, welcome to the second demo of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. The game is shortly releasing next Tuesday, it's so close and anticipation is growing. But here we are, the main menu of the next demo. I have just now downloaded it, I have not looked at any gameplay of it, so it's going to be a first impression I guess you could say. I already did the first demo that you guys maybe have saw earlier, if you haven't you can check that out. Uh, but I'm more excited about this one because you actually probably get to feel a little bit more of the gameplay and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started with it. Do we want the full story? Of course, yes. I should probably just start at the beginning. The name's Sly. Sly Cooper, and I'm a thief. From a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business. And business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law. In the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So, I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company without a shock pistol being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I needed to pull a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, had even opened a new museum. But I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very first heist. And we've been best friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. Bentley had been enjoying his time off, too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently, they just finished work on a top-secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically, but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Thievius Raccoonus, the Master Thieves Handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations. Its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris. The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle, and the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team and we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby, where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. 
With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations, and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone, or something, was literally erasing Cooper history. Then, to our amazement, Bentley revealed that he already had the solution, time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. And now, he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time, stop those responsible, and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. So here we were, about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes. Well, there you have it, everybody. Gave it a full story in it, and it's looking pretty great. Voice acting is good. I'm pretty sure they actually said they got the same voice actors from the classic Sly. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to this game, even though it's only the demo. <laughs> but you never, you know, it's only like fight four more days, and then we got a new one. But although the character animations and the graphic design is a little bit different, you got to get over that. Okay. You both remember the plan, right? Of course! My mind is like a steel cap! Uh, that's trap, big guy. And everybody relax. We've been over it a million times. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Look, we're only gonna get one shot at this, so we can't mess up! All right, no messing up allowed. Now stop worrying. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll see you both inside. Now let's get going. It's like you produce Haven't seen that before. Just another one of my many talents. Has the exact same vo uh, coin collecting thing. I'm just gonna be looking for nitpicky things like that, honestly, just to see what's cool. Excellent. It's perfect for peeking around corners. Press the circle button while jumping to interact with I think I can handle that. The jumping aspect feels a little weird, I gotta be honest, the double jumping, but, you know. Hey Bentley, was truck surfing part of Murray's entrance strategy? <gasps> of course not, Murray's approach route is through the back alleys. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Anyway, it looks like he's in position now. Make sure you stay on these cables, Sly. You can't risk going down to street level right now. Not a problem, Bentley. A good thief prefers to stay above the action anyway. But the overall, like, feel of thief being a thief in general feels the same or whatever. But, you know, we can, I mean, there's a whole other story, which I really love what they did with it. How, if you remember back in Sly 3, they started, oh crap. Oh, you die in one hit in this one. You don't actually have a health bar. Or maybe you do, it just kills me in one hit. But, if you remember back in the end of Sly 3, you actually... It was pretty unique how they actually did it. How, like, Bentley mentioned that he was working on a time machine at the end of Sly 3, and they used that to actually move on with the story. That was too close. So where are we headed now? But like, I, yeah, I was just saying, like, it was. It, I think it's just really great how they actually kept the storyline coming from like the Sly Three and not, you know, a brand new story. Uh, 
I did notice I did make Sly a little bit more buff. <laughs> Just saying, and Penelope looks more feminine than she did. So, little things like that I noticed. See, I told you it would be a piece of cake. I'm a little out of practice. You say something, Sly? Uh, no. All good here, Bentley. Okay. It looks like you're going to have to find another way up. Use that ledge to move around to the front of the museum and stay out of that security light. I think I can handle that. Been doing this type of thing since Sly 1. You gotta wait till it moves up or down and then go through it. That's kind of cool. Go! Thank you. Although the graphics are different, you know, I'm not too worried about that because I know, I, you know, I figured they wouldn't be able to do the exact same. I, th I thought they'd be able to do a little bit closer. But I'm not really too worried about that as more as the feel of the game if it's going to relate to the, you know, how the classics felt. That was the main thing I was concerned about. We got the museum skylight key. Now we can kill him. Okay, Bentley, I'm in place. Let me know when you shut down the security system. Patience, Sly. You can't rush greatness, and I'm about to code a hacking masterpiece. Bentley the Brains. Interesting. The last time I was in these sewers, I was just a teenager. My mom should make short work. Oh, you can't spam it like the other ones. Dang it! I used to love when like five bombs on one person, even though it was completely unnecessary. Can we do the triple jump? Nope, you don't have the triple jump either. Alright, we got Oh, I like that though, how it shows to get you the arrow where you need to go next. I loved how uh, Sanzaro games ever. I was a big fan of them ever since I made the Sly collection because my, I do not own a PS2 anymore, and oh, I wanted to play my classics. Now I own like six collections. If I jump, then press and hold the X button Oops. while I'm in the air. My jets will let me glide a long way. Oh, that's pretty cool. But now I have like the Sly Collection, the Jack Collection, the Ratchet and Clank Collection, the Shadow of the Colossus Collection, the Metal Gear Solid Collection. But, <laughs> I got a lot. But that's, you know, I guess that's good. That's my favorite type of games is PS2 Classic, so... You viewers pr pretty much already know that, though, unless you're new to the channel, but most of you already know that. My, as you know, yeah, I probably hadn't said, but my channel has revolved around Sly Cooper, which is a good thing. You know, I'd rather it be that than something else. But, you know, my channel really kind of jump-started with, actually, probably Sly 2. I did Sly 1, but then, you know, it did pretty good, but then when I did Sly 2, it just took off. And I'm glad it was could be something that great. Let's go! Oh crap! <laughs> oh okay. Well, if you could get Bentley, just Bentley, just jump in or roll in. Phew! Talk about your close shaves. How's that security system coming, Bentley? Uh, great, perfect. I'll be done in a jiffy. And just a jiffy, Sly. Shh. Shut down the system. Okay. Can I get his too? No. They don't even hear the bomb ticking. That's okay. Oh, it's an insta kill. I wasn't like that in the old ones. Time for Murray. Oh, never mind. Hello, old friend. 
Let's see how the hacking is in this game. I do want to play the co-op aspect where Bentley looks like a teenage or a teenage mutant Tur ninja turtle or whatever. I love that's gonna be awesome. I hope it's pretty cool. Me and Brooks will probably do some of those, but uh, it doesn't look the same, but it, it feels about the same. And I like they kept the same controls and not like shoot with R or something like that. Dang it! This reinforced firewall is too strong for the big cannon. If I use that upgrade slot, I can engage my Panzer code. Oh, you get that's pretty cool. Even that wasn't in classics, you know. You, I mean, there's always room for improvement. That's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. You get to get like Im improvements on your machinery and artillery. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and take down that barrier. All right. So what's over? All right. Let's look. There's a little bit more complex things to do here, but. What? Oh, do I need to go back to this one? Oh, okay. I was thinking the yellow was it for some reason, not green. I'm stupid. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'll give you that Sans Zero Games. That was pretty awesome. And that's the way the code base crumbles. Okay, Murray, you're up. The Murray is always on, Bentley. <laughs> Murray the Brawn. Do you have your ball form? That is my question. Come on, you gotta have your ball form. <laughs> Shut up. You don't even have your uppercut? Okay, I don't really like that. Or I can just land on him. Oh, I love this ball form that he learned from the Guru. I wonder if they're actually going to involve characters like the Panda King and the Guru. I know that they're pretty much involving uh, Dimitri just because he was in the first trailer release back in E3 of 2011. But I wonder if they'll invite, you know, bring any other people into the game. Well, I guess we'll all find out Tuesday. Okay, I don't really care for coins. It's not like I'm going to be buying anything. It's just a habit of doing that. That is very rude. I don't need to fight. I'm just going to avoid him. Never mind. I got to take them all out. Oh, put your guns up. Should be good, Bentley. Oh, never mind. One last guy. Can't do a body slam. Oh, that's a body slam. Okay. Huh? Where did you come from, shortstop? <laughs> Surely, Murray, you can beat these guys. I'm mashing it. That felt great. Uh, everything okay, Murray? Now it is. Murray, don't forget to use your throwing ability. Press the circle button to stomp near an object, and you will pick it up. Then press the square button to throw the object. If you press the triangle button instead, you can slam the object down. 
He doesn't get a third in that. Oh, it actually kind of has like an auto lock. Oh, come on. Come here. Okay, Sly. The security system is down. You're all clear. Great. I'm going in. Steal it. <laughs> I gotta press a button to steal it. What the? You didn't really think you were gonna get away with it, did you, Ringtail? Uh oh, did not see that happening. Ex girlfriend, no! Hey, Carmelita! Oh, funny meeting you here. Sly Cooper, you no good lying thief! I'm locking you up for good! Sorry, gotta take a rain check. I'll call you. Cooper! Good evening, this is Sly Cooper. I'd like to request a ride. You, Sly! Now quit dancing around and get down here! We're in the van! It's ready to roll! Au revoir! Let's hit it! Buckle up, boys! Oh, yeah! Please tell me I get to drive the Cooper van! Yeah! That's great! Oh my gosh, this is looking like a great game. I thought that's pretty funny actually how they did that uh Just setting up for the joke! Welcome to Air Murray! Thanks for flying! Nice landing, Murray. Hey Bentley, not to complain, but we're kind of trapped here. Relax, Sly. Just put the dagger in the receptacle. Perfect. Isotopic decay calibrated, adjusting fusion synthesis. Anytime you want to punch it, Murray. Let's punch it. You got it, chum. Do not slow down, Murray. I never do. Whoa! Sly Cooper thieves in time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Game coming out Tuesday, February 5th. Well, what else can I say about Carmelita? As you can see, our relationship is... complicated. And I just succeeded in upgrading it to... hazardous. I certainly wasn't expecting her to crash the party. She'd been so busy with her latest case, I never thought she'd have her eye on me. In fact, I'd kind of been counting on it. But then, I should have known better than to underestimate Inspector Carmelita Fox. As much as she liked having fun, Carmelita was serious about her police work. And now, I had a lot of explaining to do. But the plan was in motion, and there was no stopping now. Even though I was thinking I'd need the time machine just to patch things up with Carmelita. Before the heist, we'd recruited our disco-loving, scuba-diving friend, Dimitri Listo to look after the Thievius Raccoonus. Because it was irreplaceable and the only guide we had, it was far too risky to take the book through time with us. Bentley had even invented a communication device to allow us to contact Dimitri no matter where or when we traveled. It was a perfect situation, since it allowed him to update us on any changes to the book while limiting our exposure to his fashion critiques. Everything was happening so fast. The past few days were just a blur. But as we howled through the time vortex, I realized we were in for a very long trip. Good, I want a very long game. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This game looks fantastic. Cannot wait to play it, the real game, all the way through and see what they do with the story. Great uh, key facts would probably be driving the Cooper van. Awesome, keep that up. May maybe have some like other things to do with that. Uh, the hacking was really good. I liked it. The only thing in the very beginning was the jumping kind of felt a little off. The double jump was kind of low or whatever. But uh, you know, kept ke key sounds, voice acting is good. Uh, Carmelita, of course, voice acting is probably sucky just because just every other game. She always has changed since Sly 1. They never kept the same voice actor. I don't see how it's that hard to keep a girl voice actor, but uh, who am I to complain? But uh, thanks for watching. If you guys want to see the real deal, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and the show. If you don't know how to do that, comment below. 
and it just keeps you intact and gives you first access to the videos releasing. Uh, there's gonna be several videos a day for this game. Cannot wait to do it. And uh, United Gamer here, guys, and I'll see you guys later.